Hey guys, Heather here, and I wanted to show you guys my haul from a couple of towns over had a townwide like Heritage Days festival, and um, so we spent the day and went around that town just buying all kinds of fun little old treasures. We'll start first um, with the sale that we hit, and they had a toy chest on wheels, um, and it was a Raggedy Ann toy chest, and then the whole thing was filled with Raggedy Ann and Andy items, and they just wanted to sell the whole thing as a lot. The guy saw me kind of hemming and hawing over it, trying to decide if I really wanted it or not. And he brought the price down for me, which was super nice. And we were almost at the end of our day. So I was like, you know what? I've got that money. We're not really stopping at too many other rummage sales. So let's just do it. So I'll show you what I got there. Um, I got one of these Homco plastic wall art pieces. I, I didn't even really look through the toy box. Um, I just kind of took a glance. There's some Raggedy Ann and Andy, a little sew on pieces. You can sew their little outfits onto them. There's a bunch of different outfits in there. Um, some color forms, which I don't know if you 90s kids ever had color forms, but the color forms are actually, a lot of them are still in there, which is super neat. There were a handful of Raggedy Ann and Andy storybooks. Um, they're all in kind of well-loved condition, but there's a lot of little cute storybooks in there. Um, just different little cute 60s, 70s, 80s storybooks that are Raggedy Ann and Andy. There was this really cute little tin. Um, it's not marked or anything. I don't know what would have been in there. It might have been a puzzle at one time, but the puzzle is no longer in there. Um, <coughs> oh, goodness. Um, there was this, and it's, I don't know, I, I took it out. It's like a waterproof fabric. Um, it's not made into anything, but like the back side has like a almost like the drapes that are thermal um or like heat whatever um or i've made and seen like cloth diaper wet bags made out of this type of material so i don't know what it was originally for but it's just a piece of fabric it wasn't made into anything um a really cute little uh little girl's purse with the tag still on it um i tied the little tie on but the little button's there and it can open up has a little strap for a little girl to carry a little raggedy and an andy purse and then the last thing that was in the box was a set of desk um utensils this i think would have used to had would have used to had that's some grammar right there used to have a um pencil sharpener container in it um and then you would just you know stick your pencil straight in it would be battery operated um <clears throat> so but he was cute he's missing his pencil sharpener part but that's okay then there was a pencil holder it's got a little spot for pens and pencils in the back i don't know what this would have held maybe erasers or a notepad and then this which is raggedy in with the desk and then when you push this down this part right here is a stapler inside so i don't know how you would fill the staples uh, maybe you have to unscrew it i don't know but that does still work it's a stapler for your desk so i got all of that plus the um the toy chest on wheels um i think for like 30 dollars. i'll turn you around here so you can kind of see i just kind of got it filled with stuff right now but that's a little toy chest it's the raggedy ann and andy toy moving company um it was just so cute with the metal, you know, blue metal frame, cute little caster wheels, just really sweet. <clears throat> Set the camera back up here and keep going. Um, I got this double plastic juicer. It's um, Hutzler Company Manufacturing, which it was just cute. It was bright, fun orange, just a cute little thing for a 70s kitchen. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got some table linens really sweet embroidered table linens and this one is not embroidered but it was super bright and vibrant i liked the minty jade green the yellow the black i always am interested when i see black in <clears throat> linens like this because it just doesn't seem like black goes but i love it when i see it so i'm glad that somebody did that back in the day um i picked up these two bamboo look framed art prints they're just real pretty um they're framed with like a grass cloth matting the other one is looking like this <clears throat> i picked up this really cute candle snuffer um it's got a bird 
and it's like on a pair of like scissors so you open it up and snuff out your candles I just thought that was really neat I've never seen anything like that I didn't even know that kind of thing existed <clears throat> I picked up these really cute it's an open creamer and there's a matching sugar bowl with a little lid um, it's not marked or anything but it's frosted got a little starburst pattern on the bottom it's almost like a vinyl overlay or like a it's not hand painted I don't believe it's like a vinyl almost like a sticker um, but I do believe that they're old I mean little frosted glass with a starburst on the bottom usually indicates that they're old oh this was also in the Raggedy Ann and Andy it's a 1975 Raggedy Ann Christmas ornament still in the bag I, I'm assuming that this is the bag it came in it's got a UPC on it though so I'm not sure when UPCs came into play I don't know that it was 1975 though so that might just be a bag that they put it in to protect it got these really cute they're chipped up and worn but really sweet little salt and pepper guys um, they're just marked Japan there's no other stickers or markings but they had cute faces so they came home with us I got this skunk um, he was probably holding a little something because he is a shaker so I'm guessing that his salt shaker he was holding right here might have been a baby I don't know what it was but I thought he was cute I couldn't leave him behind just because he didn't have a pair I also picked up a single strawberry shortcake shaker I got these Christmas miniatures they're little tiny candles they are it says made in Japan um, GHC giftware group and you can see in black and white what the candles look like and so I thought oh those could be cute let me open them and see if they're actually cute and they are um, the Santa Claus has a super cute face the snowmen are just derpy enough to be adorable um, there's a Christmas tree that's just plain but it's circle shaped kind I mean you know the bottom is circle shaped it's not like a triangle um, and then the cutest one of all is a little reindeer with his little paw his little leg bent up with a little paw up he's oh, they're so cute and there's 12 so three of each um in their original box and i love them i just i just love them i i want to keep them um <clears throat> picked up these hom i think they're homco maybe they're not homco no they're nesco um clowns i don't usually gravitate to, to clowns but they've been kind of making their way to me when i go around sailing so i picked these guys up just because they were kind of cheeky and cute <clears throat> picked up a oops see if I can break things I've been doing well with vintage hair tools um so I picked up this mini curling iron made by Sears in the original 1970s box I got um I actually picked up one of these yesterday at a whole different sale um but this is one of those love is little cheeky guys um making the most of whatever you have and it says our castle and their little house is, is is not in the best of shape but they're just making the best of what they've got so that's sweet got a little chalkware set of birds on a branch with cherries i picked up this cute luli julienne um i just thought it was funny comes with all the little blades to julienne and chop and slice and all that all original very 70s packaging about these two bamboo wall pockets um, they are marked Japan but um, they had a little sticker in here oh they have a little sticker from our local store general merchandise and it looks like our logo for our marsh stores um, we, they're not in existence anymore but they did used to exist here so I'm guessing that whoever got those got them from our local marsh store way back in the day and we haven't had marsh in our town for quite some time so I'm, I'm guessing they're pretty old, um, which is super neat. Try to put these back in here so nothing gets broken. I got these cute Tupperware salt and pepper shakers with their little lids. <clears throat> what else? What else? I got oh, a really cute little donkey planter, very pink unmarked but still very cute and very pink his eyes have kind of worn off but I just thought he was really cute the shape of him is really cute what else? I got the hydro jet scrub brush and soap from Avon um, I always open these because sometimes Avon can actually be as cute as the box um, so let me see I, d I don't remember if I did open it or not um, it's wrapped inside the little jet has a little scrub brush on it 
um, what's that written on? It's got like a UPC or something written on it, um, but it is wrapped up in here and the little boat part with a little guy in it sits on the little brush. So that was super cute. A lot of times, like I said, Avon stuff is not as cute as it is on the box, but in this case, it was all there and it was really cute. Um, so some little kid might like to have that. I picked up this Jadeite. Um, it's unmarked with a maker, but it's got like a floral pattern on it. I need to do some research because sometimes this might, this stuff might be Pioneer Woman because she remade some Jadeite stuff um, and some vintage, vintage looking stuff. Um, but this is in really, really great shape. And that's part of what makes me think it could be Pioneer Woman because um, it's really in really great shape. It's got just like a floral pattern on the bottom. So I need to look that up because it's not Fire King. It's not you know, federal because those were usually marked and this is not. So I'm not sure on that, but I'm going to look it up. I thought it was pretty regardless. I got this pretty vanity lipstick holder sitter. It's real heavy. It's almost like cast iron. Um, so it's super pretty. It's got like birds, um, on the bottom of it there. I got, actually this was in a box of something else, Doan's pills. And it's for, it's a diuretic to the kidneys. And I thought it was hilarious because they're definitely still in the little metal pill bottle. Um, and when you open it, they look like seeds. Um, I just don't know what they are. I'm going to look it up and see about that. I picked up a bag full of vintage kitchen magnets. And this one had fruits in it. So pineapple, orange, or not orange, pineapple, banana, two strawberries, a bunch of bananas, a watermelon, and some grapes. I thought those were really cute and I picked up a couple of vintage hand mirrors with a tortoise shell kind of look to them and then the very last thing I think oh no no you probably can't see them I don't know if you can see them right here I've got these really pretty brassy gold like pheasants or I'm not sure what these birds are actually but they're really pretty I've had them before in black I might still actually have them listed in the shop I can't remember if they sold or not um, but these were super neat they're they're like a resin or a wood material they're not glass um, but I just thought they were super cool um, they'd go in like a very Hollywood Regency style house um, so I thought those were cool and I picked those up um, actually at the sale where I got the strawberry shortcake and the strawberry creamer and sugar got this cute magnet with a hook on the bottom thought that was cute and then I got a ton of these um looks like three six seven eight of these little tiny daisy magnets there's yellow white and red um so I just thought they were cute there's two yellow three white and three little red ones so I picked up all of those and I think that that is all for the Frankton Heritage Days rummage sales um but stay tuned because I've got another set of um hauls for you from a couple of um local things that we did this last week so thanks for watching i'll see you next time take care